Hi and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, finally, we'll talk about this lithium iron phosphate charger, which I received from Lithova. I did test already the smaller brother, or should I say smaller sister, I'm not sure, the 20 amp lithium iron phosphate charger. But this one, this beauty has 40 amp of charging power pushing into your lithium iron phosphate battery. And I want to test it today if it performs as advertised. So I got this charger from Lithova. You might have seen already the video of their battery, or maybe you've seen the other charger, which is the smaller version of this. This one is 40 amps, as it also states here. On top, it's made for lithium iron phosphate. It's made for plug-in to your wall outlet at home. So you can easily provide power at home at your normal household plug. And then you can just charge the battery with, here on the other side, those alligator clips. And those alligator clips, they feel pretty good. So I looked at them. So it's quite interesting to see how they assembled it. In here you see that there's a solder uh, point where, they, where the wire is going in. So it means it's, in, it's insulated going into this alligator clamp up to the front. Same with the negative, and it's uh, in a it's connected via an eight gauge wire, so that's uh, rated up to forty amps, so it should be sufficient. You always, you know, when you know you have more load going through and more current, you of course want to have more. But this one is maxed out at forty amps, so you should be good. And we'll give it a test and see if it actually is forty or maybe more, because then the wire would be not enough. Additionally, what we see here, we have the model, the model name which is LFPC 1240. It states lithium LIFPO4, so lithium iron phosphate charger, battery charger. And then we have here on this side, um, which you also had on the smaller version, LED indicator red charging and green fully charged. So and the LED we can see here on this side. So it's quite small. There's not a lot more. There's no display. There is really, when you look at the side, it's just aluminum housing, it's cooling, and then we have this side, a good point where the power cord goes in, which is also, by the way, pretty, pretty solid, I feel like. We have the opportunity to mount it here, so we could have it fixed somewhere mounted with a bolt in. We do have a little handle to carry it, which is really nice, because it is bigger. It is bigger than the smaller version. Let me get a smaller one real quick in the picture, which is this one. Um, so you can see there's a <laughs> slightly difference in size. The 20 amp portion, that's the 40 amp portion. Both have a nice uh, aluminum case. Here at the bottom is also nothing special. So those are all the sides. I feel like um, it, it, it. they made a great job here with a power cord going in with this connector. They made a great job here on this side as well with uh, the eight gauge wire going in, negative and positive separately. Also with a nice crimp, they have a fan. Also you cannot touch in it or hurt yourself. So that's great. What's also in the box is pretty much the same, I feel like, like last time. This product manual, it is helpful to understand how to set it up and which order. Most important information, I feel like, uh, is printed on here. LED indication, red and green light. We don't have to talk more. Um, I'll connect it to the battery and we'll just give it a test and see how much are we charging it with and also how the heat development is. So that means I'll change my setup and get my batteries ready. Okay, cool. We have it running for a little bit. So here we have the device itself, back here. You can see the battery over here charging. And I can see on my display, it says it's charging with 39.34. Uh, Since you never know how I created this. Let's see if we can get a better number. Which means we'll use this one. And here we see it is charging the battery with 40.26, 42.4, yeah. We are pulling, we are pulling 5.92, we can see that, yeah, 5.94. Now we let it run, want to check how warm it is getting and get an idea about it right now in terms of warmth, move this over a little bit, we do have probably the hottest yeah, the hottest spot is probably here on the side right now. And that's where I try to measure it right now. And there we have... Yeah, 
91 here in this area, probably the warmest so far. Touching on the bottom maybe quickly, just an idea. Yeah, it's on the side so far. Let's uh, have this run for a little bit and let's see how what's temperature wise happening. Um, I can already say I had this already charging a bunch of batteries because uh, 40 amps going into the battery is really nice and uh, also sometimes really quick when a battery can handle that. Perfect. Let's come back in a couple of minutes again. We have an efficiency around 81%. 590 um, is the consumption of this power supply here and it's pushing in uh, around 480 watts which is equals to 40 amps. And because it's full aluminum it also uses the entire body to cool it down which is nice and the fan is running as soon as we charge so I think that also helps. Yeah, I think it's pu pulling the air in here and pushing it out over here. So I have to touch the wire, I have to see if it is getting warmer. And yes, it is getting a little warmer, but normal, normal warm, I would say. It's not like, oh, it's getting hot, you cannot touch it. I have this Anderson connector on one side, it's rated up to 50 amps, and then I have the alligator clips on the other side. Um, so I did cut the other power supply wire, and I added the Anderson connector, which now gives me more flexibility I can charge just with this one because you know the Lucidi batteries up there uh, they come with Anderson connectors so you can just charge it with this one um, or if you need those clamps you can just attach this one to the power supply and there you go so most likely I will do the same with this one as well I think we're good for now let's see where we're at later so it is running already I have no idea how long to be honest but it is running already a little bit so I did check in a little bit and I can tell that this wire is still not hot it is a little warm but still not like you feel like it's hot so it is a good warm I feel like not a hot we are I think pretty good in terms of heat with the battery charge itself it's still around at 91 92 less depending on where I measure obviously this is pretty good and solid temperature here that's nice and let's do the last check here on the current 41.49 so it is now at around 84 percent efficiency i would say so between 82 and 84 i think it's pretty pretty decent the wires oh, this power supply wire here um, which goes into the socket not a problem at all yeah it's it's really making a great job here's cold air coming out that it's oh cold enough air which is really nice my conclusion on this power supply to be honest um, it does a great job I love the 40 amps, which is a lot of power and you can charge batteries way quicker um, than before with just 20 amps or whatever. Um, downside, it does not have any adjustability. It goes 40 amps or when it gets closer to full, it uh, decreases it and it does have the same behavior when it's full with uh, this little LED here. Um, here. As mentioned, it's red. It's it looks wrong in the camera right now, but it is red. It's an actually a red light right now. And when it's getting closer to full or to full, then it's changing to green and it stops charging and you can hear the fan stops. It's pretty straightforward with this power supply. It works great. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below. I'm happy to answer them. Maybe you want to see more about it. Let me know about that. It's powerful and it has charged already a bunch of my batteries uh, without any issues flawlessly. So that's good. Yeah, let me know what you think about it. So long story short, this charger not only has it a handle, it does have the alligator clamps as well as you see in the video. This charger really performs well and I'm in love with it. I also love the smaller version of it, the 20 amp, but this one with 40 amps pushes even more, it's quick end charging. I really like that the 40 but also the 20 amp charger is capable of pushing all the amps through and not heating up. I had another video out there of another charger which heated up way more and I do not like that and then you have this plastic smell and stuff like that I didn't have this here so that's really really awesome to see downside you cannot adjust it but sometimes there's no need to adjust it at all not sure about you on you your use case for me 20 and 40 amps perfectly fine usually you know when you have the 100 amp hour batteries it's good to charge it just with 0.2 C which is equals to 20 amps sometimes you have bigger batteries like 200 amps same with and then you need to charge it with 40 amps hey perfect so i like that link in the description below in case you want to get one of those as well thanks for watching cheers